Welcome back to the channel, my name is Chase, and today we'll be taking a look at the strategy that has been taking Clash of Clans by storm, which is the Queen Charge or Queen Walk Hybrid. Now this strategy works so well due to the synergy between Hogs and Miners. While Miners can get distracted on skeletons and trash buildings, the Hogs can zip by and target the defenses. And when the Archer Queen becomes a threat for the Hogs, the Miners and a well-timed Warden ability can effectively shut down the Queen before she deals massive damage. Pretty cool, right? Now all you need to worry about is this setup. I use a Yeti Blimp to take out a major defense, and I've been having the most success when my Queen deals with the Town Hall. Then I can use the Warden ability over the enemy Archer Queen and to tank Eagle Shots. The hybrid does its best when it has a straight path to follow. Most of the time you want your king funneling the outside trash so that the hogs and miners can stay on course. Notice how narrow the base is after the blimp took out the eagle, and the queen moves down the left side. The king at 3 o'clock makes pathing even better. Now it's a matter of placing heal spells to keep the hogs and miners alive. For the army comp, I like 3 heals and 3 rages. For Town Hall 13, you usually see a heal swapped out for two freezes. Those are for the scatter shots and single infernos. I used a rage for the blimp and saved two for the queen since she was only walking along the outside and not in too much danger. I used more hogs and miners for this one because there were mainly defenses along the path I just created. And now it's just a matter of keeping all my troops alive and the base is wrecked. We'll just speed it up to get to my planned attack. I chose this base in war due to the relatively simple pathing down the bottom left side. I wanted to send a blimp in on the expo in the inferno tower around 3 o'clock, and then my queen would go down and take out the town hall. Then I'd send in the Hogs and Miners towards the Eagle around 5 o'clock-ish. Now I also want to mention this attack does not go to plan, but I'll show you how I adapted on the fly. The Blimp does a phenomenal job taking out the Archer Tower and Cannon on the drop, and then the Yeti Mites taking out the Inferno Tower. I should have raged closer to the center of that compartment so that it got the Yeti Mites and it would have taken out that wizard tower as well. I bring the Lord Clan Castle troops up to the top where my queen is, and a wizard on the mortar to help with the funnel. The poison clips the air skellies and also prepares for the lava pups that'll explode right now. Now I needed to send in a baby dragon up at the builder hut at around 12 o'clock so that my queen could stay low and get to the town hall. I thought I dropped it too late, but the queen ended up taking that path anyway, so it all worked out. I raged just the queen so that she could step up and start taking out those storages quicker. Everything is going smooth up until about, like, now. I noticed the Inferno Tower will be in range of my healers, and the queen cannot reach it. There's a little bit of an oversight when planning on my part. It's right about here where I make a crucial decision. I want to save my Archer Queen because of her DPS, so I need to target that Inferno Tower ASAP. I decide to send in the Hogs and Miners on that Wizard Tower to save the Queen. Now the pathing is not ideal, but it was still pretty effective. So in come the Miners, the Hogs, and my Warden, and I pop my Queen ability, and now nothing is targeting her. So the Hogs and Miners have effectively tanked for the Queen, and now her DPS is still on the board. I also sent my King on the 9 o'clock corner to clear the trash so that my Queen can keep trimming down the outside defenses and draw my Hogs and Miners towards the Inferno Tower and Eagle right there. And as you can see, it actually worked pretty well. Just goes to show you should always be ready to adapt. Well that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and if you enjoyed definitely hit subscribe and look forward to more content in the future.
Now go crush some bases.